It's another Springfield's Best Day, where we get to connect with the best businesses around. And today's Springfield Best member is Kevin Austin from Austin Orthodontics. I'm sorry, Kevin, if I, should I call you doctor? You can call me Kevin. Doctor, uh, because you have two first names as your name. And I might get confused and call you Austin or Dr. Kevin. I don't know. What's Dr. Going Orthodontics. Happen. Yes, there we go. It happens with most of my patients. They call me Austin, Kevin, whatever. Austin, Kevin, Kevin, Austin. It's a strong name, though. It is. It first is. of all, thank you so much for coming in. And first, thanks for being a good sport and playing the games with yes, us. Yes, thanks. It was, it was a blast. You know your pop culture, my friend. Yes. I try. I try. It was good. <laughs> uh, we're so happy you're here for Springfield's Best, and we know it's a great organization. We love Tammy. We love all the businesses that have come in. Tell us about how long you've been associated with them and, and how you like being involved with Springfield's Best. I've been a member since uh, 2018. And uh, it, it's been great. Tammy has been awesome at uh, getting everyone involved. Uh, the segments like this, just she's a great coordinator with uh, communication and, and, and everything. She's, she's been fantastic. She, she is amazing. We love her. And she, being part of Springfield's Best really is, means you're part of the best businesses in the Ozarks, which is Austin Orthodontics. Mm -hmm. And I was going to say, you told us right before cameras came on, you've been doing this 24, almost 20. Almost 20 years, yeah. Almost 20 years. Yeah. You started in 2004. I opened in 2004, um, as my wife uh, would say, one patient at a time. Yeah. And uh, anyway, it's been a, been a great ride, and, and it's, it's been fun. It's been a great community to, to uh, open up in. And I, I was originally from St. Louis. My wife's from Springfield. But uh, this, this has felt like home since the beginning. So tell us about Austin Orthodontics, where you're located, and kind of what all you, what services you provide. Sure. Uh, we're located in uh, Nixa, um, so we're uh, open during the week, uh, Monday through Thursday, and uh, we provide all orthodontic care. Um, we're, we're an orthodontic specialty um, office, so um, I was a general dentist first, and then I specialized in, uh, in orthodontics. It's an extra uh, two-year residency, and uh, we do everything from braces to uh, Invisalign, retainers, uh, you know, follow-up years later. Uh, orthodontics is uh, one of those uh, relationships that, you know, I saw my orthodontist for years and years after I uh, initially was treated. And it's, it's one of those things that it's great. We can treat members of the same family and we just really get to know everybody. Mm -hmm. I have to say, this is a little secret about me, I do have four braces on the back of my front okay. teeth, lower, because um, right. I knocked one out of place one time, and okay. so that's that. Yeah. But I do wear my retainer every single night. It it's, is so important. It's very important. That is, your, just like anything else we do with our bodies, whether it's eating well or exercising, that retainer wear at night is your long-term maintenance program, and mm -hmm. uh, it's amazing how, how much of a difference that can make over the long term, just being consistent with that retainer wear. I'm curious too, doctor, if you're seeing, you know, I find more in the recent years, even adults are getting braces. They're trying to fix their smile because they, people are more aware of it. Are you seeing a lot of adult patients Absolutely. with braces? Absolutely. Uh, I've really noticed in the last uh, even few years that there's been a huge uptick in uh, adult patients. I, I think, uh, you know, and it's one of those things that so long as your teeth and your gum tissues are healthy, there's no age that you can't move teeth. You can, uh, you know, do it at any age. And uh, the adults are really... Uh, coming in more frequently than what I'd seen in the past. So it's a, it's a great thing. And I, I was going to ask with technology and all the advancements, you know, I, I see, you know, adults with braces, but, you know, you can do them on the back. They're not the, um, like, the metal ones exactly. that I feel like I maybe had at one point. Yeah, the, there is a huge range, and, and uh, the, th the 3D printing aspect, we can print, uh, you know, retainers in-house. We can do uh, invisible aligners. There, oh. a huge a huge range of things that, um, you know, really technology is is evolving. I, I always uh, tell patients, whenever I first uh, was in my residency in 2002, we were still doing traditional film photography. And it's like, that, that seems so long ago. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't feel that old, but I, you know, it, it, it just goes to show how the everything has changed. And from the, the 3D area to the, the radiography to um, just the way that we move teeth in general. Uh, so I'm curious too, because I, when I was growing up, my parents wanted to get me braces, but we went to the orthodontist in Texas where I'm from, mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, well, you have to wait for a certain amount of grown up teeth to be in or this. What, what age range of kids are you seeing to start that orthodontic process? So we want to see patients even as early as age seven. Now, most, not all, but most of the folks that we see at that age, there's no need to get started with any treatment at that time. That said, we'll usually just see them yearly until uh, a problem occurs or um, sometimes uh, kids grow at different rates. So sometimes a 10-year-old might have all their permanent teeth in. On the flip side, a 16-year-old 
might still be waiting for other teeth to erupt in. So it's, uh, age doesn't have a whole lot to do with it. People grow at different, uh, at different uh, stages. But uh, we want to see patients even as early as age seven. We're checking for things like missing teeth, uh, crossbites, um, things that can cause problems with their growth. Wow. So. Okay, good to know. And I wanted to ask, um, he, you mentioned before, you know, you went straight from your schooling into running a business. Yes, and yes. you're not really taught that. So how, how has that evolved in the help with uh, Springfield's yeah. Best? It, uh, you know, com community involvement. Uh, I was with the, the Rotary Club. I have uh, in Nixa for, for quite a few years and uh, just getting to know those community leaders, uh, some of the folks I've met through uh, Springfield's Best, is, they've been great influences also, but really it's kind of trial by fire. It's, mm -hmm. it, it's just like anyone else running a business, that part you, you have to learn kind of on the job and on the fly and uh, that part is, has been, been good to get those connections and, and I've had some mentors along the way, so it's been good. So if somebody wants to become a patient of yours, maybe it's for themselves or for their child yes. or their grandchild, what's the best way to get in touch with you and book an appointment? The best way is just to call us uh, at 417-725-9600. Mm -hmm. And uh, anyway, we'll, we'll uh, be there to, to answer the phone. And, and I always tell folks the best thing to do is just come in to see us because I have no idea what type of uh, problem you have going on. I have no idea what the solution would be until we actually see the patient there. Mm -hmm. It could be a single tooth out of alignment. It could be a mouthful of teeth out of alignment. And, yeah. mm -hmm. and those are drastically different solutions. But guys, you can check out all the great businesses at the Springfield's Best website, including Austin Orthodontics. And if my orthodontist was as cool and as pop culture knowledgeable as you, right? man, I would have lived at the orthodontics <laughs> office. Guys, you have to go see him. Oh, and yes. it's awesome wife Hillary. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Thank you very much.